What's up guys, it's Drew. I'm back with another video. And today we will be installing my bully bar from Tiger. And that will be coming up next. Stay tuned. I already unboxed this. Here's the uh, bully bar from Tiger. Um, as you can see, it come pretty well packaged. It was wrapped in this bubble wrap and this uh, styrofoam. It was all taped up so it doesn't get scratched or nothing. Here's the hardware. Everything is labeled. Um, got a P for passenger right here. Uh, the D for driver's side. We got all the hardware and everything already and the instructions. So we're going to uh, get this bad boy installed. Now we're going to do the passenger side. I did spray some WD-40 on these bolts, make them a little easier to get off, but they are still uh, really hard. Um, to undo here, and uh, it really helps if you had a ratcheting wrench. Uh, so. Uh, once I get this bolt out, we'll get the other one out. All right, guys, we're on the next step here. We uh, removed the tow hooks. So now we are uh, going to find the um, 12 millimeter uh, bolt plate and the 12 millimeter hex bolt, which there's only two in the package. So it's just the two biggest bolts you find and the two biggest nuts with the washers. Um, these are the plates. They're in a separate bag, so they're easy to find. What we're going to do is, uh, this is the hole that you took the uh, factory bolt out of. You're just going to push this bolt into where that hole is, and then there's a, a slot right directly behind where that hole is, and you're going to slide this in there. So let's get to the next step. All right, guys, I was just looking at the directions again. Um, and you need to, this is where it's going to uh, mount through. So you're going to need to cut this out or try to take it off. And it looks like there's, I mean, this is really heavy plastic. Um, and you got metal right there. So uh, I don't have anything to cut that off with, so I'm going to see if I can unbolt it somehow. All right, guys, I got that uh, plastic thing off of there. <clears throat> so now you're just going to take your bolt, uh, go up inside the... Where the tow hook was insert that bolt <clears throat> and then you're going to take your other one and insert it in this hole and then we got our bracket and it's marked D for driver and then we're going to uh, set it up here you just want to loosely uh, put these on here and not tighten them yet because you're going to have to adjust. There's slots in here for adjustment, so you're going to have to adjust the, um, the bar so you can get it as close or as far away from the truck as you want. So uh, I'll just wind this up here uh, by hand. And 
out and I'll put the washer and the nut on this bolt. There by hand. Then you're going to do the same exact thing for the um, passenger side. All right, guys, we're on step four. Um, we're going to take the brackets and uh, hook it to the bumper itself. And I believe you might want to double check when you do this. I believe it installs this way because it hooks to the bracket on the outside and this is on the inside where the tow hook was. So you may want to double check to make sure it's right because sometimes I get things backwards. Um, but this is the next step, so that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, we're gonna go with the eight millimeter bolts. I tried to separate everything out here. Uh, there's eight millimeter bolts with the uh, lock washer and the regular washer. And we're just going to put it in there. And again, you just want to um, loosely put it in there. You don't want to tighten everything. You want to tighten everything at the end once you got everything adjusted the way you want it. Um, so you just hand tighten those in there. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Hey guys, I got this up here. Um, couldn't record it because I needed two hands. Um, but also, I told you that I was going to install these wrong. I had to turn these around. I put them on backwards. Um, the long part needs to go on the inside of the bar. Um, I had them on the outside. So, uh, y'all can make that correction. And this bolt right here that's sticking down, uh, looks like it might be in the way if you go to tighten it. So, I would put the the bolt head on this side so you can get a wrench on that side and then on this side over here you got plenty of room to get like a ratchet or any kind of impact or whatever you want to use to tighten that with um, so right now I'm just going to do the other side like this you just want to set it in there uh, loosely um, until you uh, get everything adjusted the way you want it and then you tighten everything down all right guys I got it on there uh, sorry I couldn't film putting them bolts on, but uh, I needed two hands to get it on there, and then I had to use my knees to push up on a thing, so it would definitely would benefit for somebody helping you. At least uh, somebody would be able to prop that up while you're uh, on there, but after I got the bolts tightened, um, it wasn't that bad. I'm, overall, the install's not hard at all. Uh, you definitely will need some um, ratcheting wrenches, some deep well sockets, some um, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Some of uh, sw sw swivel sockets. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's a very easy install. You can get it done within a few hours. Uh, it took me a little longer because I was trying to record stuff and set the camera up and all kinds of stuff. But uh, it's fairly easy and it looks pretty good. It does have, uh, if your state requires a front license plate, it does come with the bolts uh, right here for the front license plates. And you do have a bracket right here for a... Uh, uh, spotlight or uh, whatever they want to call it running light or I forget what you call them um, but this is uh, from tough I got this off of uh, eBay I believe it was or Amazon one of the two um, fairly easy install it was inexpensive and it, it looks great I do got some uh, tiger steps I'm gonna be installing it's uh got that same type of texture on it so i think that'll look good so this is it for the video guys thanks for watching uh like subscribe uh share and until the next time see you